Having grown up uh, the son of a, a military officer uh, gave me a perspective of people because I got to see people all over the world and I got to see how the same we are. As different as our cultures are, people are really the same, how we are all really one. I think that's important as a writer to understand what connects us more than what separates us. I was uh, firmly in my faith when I started writing Germ and Comes a Horseman. When I started writing those books, I took a month off of, from writing uh, Comes a Horseman specifically to fast and pray about how much of God I should overtly put into my story. And one day I woke up and looked out, out the, the window at Pikes Peak and I felt him say to me, do you see me in that mountain? And I said, well, of course, I, I see you in, in all of nature. And he said, do you see my name, G-O-D, on the mountain? And I said, no. And he said, that's how I want you to write the story. And that's how I wrote Comes a Horseman and Germ and Deadfall and Deadlock. While I was praying about the, the story following Deadlock, I really felt God nudging me in a different direction, asking me to, to come around to, to a point where I would be writing the same type of story that I've always written, kind of action, adventure, exciting stuff uh, had, with high technology, but with him more overtly in the story. Um, and not that, that the previous stories were wrong, it was just time that, that something to do with, uh, with what God was doing in my life brought me to a point where he decided that it was time for me to put him more in the story, to make it clearer where I stood with my faith and start using that faith as motivation for the characters. And I, I think that's, uh, that's worked out very well in 13th Tribe. The 13th Tribe can be summarized in two words, immortal vigilantes that God has made them so they won't die and experience God. So essentially, that's their punishment for the transgression, is that they will never die and see God. He expels them from the 12 tribes and they create their own tribe. When the story starts, they are planning a biblical attack on a major city in kind of the way that the Israelites took over Canaan when they went into the Promised Land. And Jagger, our hero, uncovers this plot and has to stop them. And that, that's the story of the 13th tribe.